invasive species. What are invasive species? Organisms tend to live in one general area on Earth. They may find it hard to spread to new places because of their size or because of barriers like mountains, oceans, deserts, and rivers. Most species are very well suited for where they have developed and live. Sometimes organisms do move to new areas. They may do so naturally. For example, seeds may be carried a long distance by wind or water. If conditions are favorable where the seed stops traveling, a new plant can grow there. It may take a long time for a species to expand its range, or it can happen quickly if conditions in the environment change. Humans can be involved in moving species too, either on purpose or by accident. Seeds, eggs, larvae, adults, spores, and other life stages can be moved. Ships can pick up aquatic species in their ballast water and release them in a new location when the water is dumped. Shipping crates often contain insects or their larvae, pupae, or eggs. Pets sometimes escape or are released intentionally. Aquarium species and live bait releases can spread species. Attachments to boats, trailers, anchors, waders, shoes, boots, and other water or outdoor recreation equipment can also transport species. There are many other means of moving species from one place to another too. Organisms introduced into habitats where they are not native are called exotic or non-native species. In Illinois, an exotic species is defined as one that was not present at the time when settlers from Europe began to arrive in the land that is now our state. How do we know what species were in Illinois at that time? We use writings and other records from the people who came here. We use Native American historical artifacts. We use archaeological remnants from that era, including seeds and pollen. Just because a species is introduced to a new habitat does not mean that it will reproduce, survive, and spread into other areas. However, there are times when species adapt very well to their new surroundings. They may have no predators, parasites, diseases, and or competitors that were present in their native habitat. Often, when species move to an area where they don't normally live, they can cause many problems. An invasive species is one that is not native to a particular ecosystem and that does or is likely to cause harm to the environment and or the economy. It does not have to come from another country. Invasive species can cause the elimination of native species, loss of natural biodiversity, and reduction in high-quality wildlife habitats. They can prey on native species. They can take away food and other life requirements of native species. They can carry or cause diseases. They can prevent native species from reproducing or kill their young. They can change food webs by destroying or replacing native food sources. Some of them can change the conditions in a habitat so that native organisms can no longer survive. Invasive species are one of the greatest threats to Illinois' natural resources. They are especially harmful to rare species or those whose populations are declining. These species already are having trouble surviving because they are few in number and or have difficulty adapting to change. Human health, livestock health, and native wildlife and plant health can be impacted by invasive species. Businesses, agricultural activities, and recreation can be harmed by invasive species too costing a tremendous amount of money.